Hey, you. Yes, you, with the soot-covered face. Light something, please? I may have glowing eyes, but it's all aesthetic, and I can barely see you. Also, I think I'm stuck in this thing. You couldn't have gotten a bigger cauldron? Standard summoning size is at least two sizes up from this. What, what are you, an amateur? I could barely fit my horns through this thing, let alone my hips. No, no, let go of my wrist. Light first, then help me. I don't want to scratch you accidentally, or, like rip an eye out. If you die, I go back, and I do not want that. My roommate's just gotten a huge fight because I forgot to close the door this morning, and the apartment is full of will-o'-wisps, and they were too busy yelling at each other that they didn't even think to ask if it was me, so this is actually perfect timing. Shit, that's bright! When did human lights get so bright? LED? What, what is that? What year is this? Last time I was on Earth, you guys had barely just started using electricity. It was it was actually considered pretty fancy at the time. Oh god, it's been like a century? You guys sure do learn fast. We're still using candles and stuff in the underworld. Mostly because we don't really have any sustainable energy sources, and candle crafting's really picked up in the last couple of decades because less people are summoning us. Lack of belief is my guess, but that's neither here nor there, just means more free time for us. I'm surprised you managed to get your hands on a summoning spell to begin with. Most were destroyed in the wiping of pagan religions, which is honestly ridiculous to me, because who burns a simple how-to scroll? Actually, now that I think about it, if practitioners couldn't summon their thanes, then they probably couldn't fight back. An unfair tactic from the church, no doubt, but an effective one nonetheless. Also, not a surprise, to be completely honest. Why can't I... Right. Could you... Could you help me? So, uh, I, I get that I'm a demon, and you're probably in shock, but are you just gonna stare at me, or are you gonna help me out of here? Because I probably look a little weird with my bottom half just kind of standing in my apartment, and I'd hate for my roommates to drag me back to deal with the mess I made this morning. Also, this cauldron smells wretched, and I, I really liked this sweater before it was slathered and... And wormwood paste and whatever else you used. What, what is that? What? <coughs> oh God! I definitely regret doing that. Okay. Um, pine, maybe. A questionable choice, but I guess it works in a pinch. You, you should try cumin next time. Some maple syrup would would be better than this, honestly. Anyway, yeah. So just grab my wrist. Tight. Thank you. Uh, I might look small, but demons are a lot more dense than humans. Bones made out of, you know, eldritch materials and stuff. Yes, yes, just like that. Okay, now pull. You're so hesitant. I'm not gonna break. I promise I'm tough. O oh! Wait, is that really as hard as you can pull? Pull harder! Please! Yes, yes, I can feel myself slipping. You'd think with how slimy this thing is, it would be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally. God, why was that so hard? What? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Do not stop looking. Turn around. <sighs> okay, this is so embarrassing. All right, where are they? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, they're not in the cauldron. Oh, they must have fell back in. You wouldn't... Oh God. You wouldn't happen to have a spare pair of pants, would you? Can you go get those? That'd be really nice of you. What? No, no, I'm not about to walk around your house without pants. What do you think I am, a succubus? I have some dignity, although it is slowly diminishing. Just like my hope that this will be a pleasant job. <sighs> Why can't you just go get them? I'm not that scary, plus I can't harm you. You're my summoner, and I'm kind of subject to your will. <clears throat> oh, listen, listen, fine. If it'll prove that I'm not trying to kill you and steal your skin, I'll follow you to wherever you keep extra pants at. Just don't look at me. I'm not gonna walk in front of you. That's- that's literally so much worse than having to go with you at all. Please, this is really embarrassing. At least- l let me- let me tie your jacket around my waist. How's that? Does that work? Oh my god. 
Fine, give me your warlock cape so I can have some decency. Please? I'll clean it for you if it's such a big deal. It's literally just a piece of cloth and it looks incredibly cheaply made too. <laughs> didn't didn't mean to needle your ego. I will I will treat your cape very gently. Now give it. Please. Fine, but it's still not my fault. I'm covered in potion goo. You didn't add a self-cleaning agent like any decent summoner would do. Barbary works great, by the way. It's common courtesy, and if you'd bought the correct size cauldron, I wouldn't have even gotten stuck at all. This is your fault. I don't know why I'm being punished for your bad decisions. Just give me the jacket. <sighs> Warlock cape. Thank you. That wasn't so hard. Okay. <sighs> Onward to pants, please. <sighs> so... Do you live alone? Or do I need to cloak my physical form? I, uh... I only ask because I can make it so that you're the only one who sees me, but I can also project a human form if you don't want people to think you're crazy for talking to yourself. But you'll always see me in my true form, which is this. Horns and teeth and tail and all. Hmm. Aren't I cute? You're supposed to agree. Jeez, you are a stick in the mud. Oh, am I not what you were trying to summon? I just figured with how your eyes have been glued to me, you were more than happy with what you summoned. Yes, I can see the way you're looking at me. At least, I could once my eyes adjusted. Act like you're not staring at me like you want to rip the rest of my clothes off, but the thought terrifies you. <laughs> oh? Were you- were you not admitting it to yourself? <laughs> oh, denial and practitioners is so cute. No need to get mad, it's okay. I'm built quite well for seducing humans, so it's not entirely your fault. I could have easily been a succubus, but I don't really have the patience for it. I much prefer lending my talents and weaving magic for dubious creatures such as yourself. Oh, I know all about what you're thinking. Watch this, don't flinch. This will only take a second, stay still. I'm just gonna touch your forehead. I can hear exactly what you're thinking. Jeez, there's a little bit of a mess in here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, intense desire, embarrassment, some shock. Ooh, some deep-seated anger issues. We'll come back to that one later. Ooh, there's a bunch of panic flooding. Sweetie, everything's fine. I'm not going to judge you. Ooh, ouch, some disappointment. I guess I really wasn't what you were expecting. Wait, wait, what's this one? <gasps> <laughs> is that mommy issues? Oh, that one's gonna be fun. Whoa. That's, that's, a, whoa. that's a hell of a mental barrier. I guess you really are in denial. It's okay to admit weakness, you know. Don't be upset. This is part of what summoning is. Even with that barrier up, I still get the general gist of your emotional aura. You're not nearly talented enough to mask that. Even pros have trouble concealing it, and I've never worked for anyone who could do it for more than a couple seconds, but even that can be dangerous for me. I need to know what you're feeling as a survival mechanism, because while I can't intentionally cause you harm, you can harm me. Now, we both know each other's weaknesses, so let's move past this goofy charade of pride and find the freaking pants. Hmm? Okay, so now you want me to wait here. Cool. Cool. I will definitely not be going through all your belongings in an attempt to understand you better since you've blocked me out of your head for the time being. What? I won't. I just said I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, just let me see your room. It can't be that bad. What do you have, nudie mags everywhere? You seem a little more classy than that. Just let me in the door. I'm gonna start calling you a creep if you don't hurry up. Because the longer we sit here with your eyes glued to my legs, the closer that comes to being an accurate statement. 
Oh my god. Fine. I'll wait here. You can close the door, dig through your clothes for a pair of shorts, and I will stand right here and not touch anything. Really? You locked me out? Did you think I was actually going to try and come in? Real good on building trust, buddy. Well, I tried the door because I was just going to, like, wiggle it and make you nervous and hurry up. It's cold on this plane and I'm tired of my legs being cold. And I, I would have maybe peaked a little, but you can't blame me. You're an interesting client. It's only natural that I'm curious. Plus, it's in my nature. I am a devious creature of curiosity and humans are so interesting. You're all so fragile and worry about such strange things. Obsessed with mortality and time because it dominates your existences. I wonder what it's like to feel the eternal clock ticking down to your demise. I just have to worry about mouthing off too hard and being reborn in hell. It's a little boring at this point, honestly. Are you done looking or, or am I distracting you? If you found them, hurry up, please. Thanks. Uh, can you stay in there while I put these on? You've seen more than enough for now, and I would prefer not to debase myself further. Cool, cool. Thank you. Alright. Little tight around the hips, but these will work for now. Okay, let's go back to the sitting room, now that all of this is handled, so, so we can discuss our contract. Okay. Listen up. Every summoning comes with a contract. Why Why are you looking at me like that? Did you think this was just a you summon me and I do your bidding blindly kind of deal? Nah, we need to have some boundaries in place so neither of our morals get sullied. Sure, mine are probably a little less guided than yours, but I've worked with some truly evil humans and done things I would rather never do again. So yes, contract, come on, let's go. Oh my god, it's not that intense! We just have to set up some ground rules, especially after what snippets I got out of your mind earlier. Don't look scandalized. What's done is done. And, apparently, I've got to give you an entire lesson on how summoning works, and we can figure out how you ended up summoning me, instead of the warlord enforcer you were trying to tie to you. That would have gone horribly, by the way. Your will isn't nearly strong enough to manage that caliber of demon. Oh, I'll tell you what would have happened. Your brain would have melted, and he would have used your bones as toothpicks after he finished snacking on you, and then he would have terrorized your whole bloodline for generations, so be thankful you got me in my smart mouth instead. Yeah. You've got some things to learn. Now wipe the look of horror off your face. We've got business to talk. Oh, right. Man, your couch is comfy! Oh, I might claim it while you've got me topside, especially since you're not expecting guests. Okay, so, the basic agreement of a summoning is that you can command me to perform spells and power rituals and that sort of thing to assist you in whatever goal you've summoned me for. And a goal can be anything from making an enchanted cake to decimating a kingdom. We decide that goal now, and once it's either accomplished, my physical form is destroyed, or you expire, I return to my wonderful little corner of hell and you go about your new life or stay dead. I'm sort of hoping I get to stay around for a little bit, though. Hell is getting kind of boring after a couple hundred years without a consistent gig. Once we do that, we discuss my limits and yours. I set ground rules for what I won't do, and you set ground rules for what I'm not allowed to do. Because while I technically do have to do what you tell me, I also still have free will, and I can and will cause mischief because I get bored. So pump up the action or set a rule if you don't want me being chaotic. After that, we start planning how to achieve your goal, and if at any point you decide you no longer want to work with me, or want to end the contract before it's completed, all you have to do is destroy my physical form. I will, however, protest vehemently, and use every emotional weapon in the book to prevent this, so unless you want some extra spicy trauma, probably avoid that one and think real hard what you want to set for your goal. And lastly, you have 24 hours from summoning me to seal the contract before I automatically return back to hell in a fun little poof of hellfire. And yes, it will scorch whatever I'm touching when it happens, so you have a little time, but not a lot. I can also give you the rundown of my previous contracts and a general scope of my abilities so that you can set a realistically achievable goal within our resources. Got all that? You look like your head's spinning. Anything I can expand on? No? Okay. 
Uh, do you have anything to eat? I don't need to in hell, and I've had, like, the wildest craving for pickles for at least 60 years. They're in a what? You know what? Yeah, please show me. I'm struggling a bit with the whole electricity thing and how wild it's gotten. Maybe, maybe I need a lesson on everything I've missed out on in human culture, at least while we're in education mode. I think we're actually going to get along pretty well. But yes, human history later. Pickles now, please. Mm, I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. I think we're going to make a good team.